we are going to apply the techniques we have learnt in the last four exercises in using the shade brush. If you have not done those exercises, please go over them so you have a good idea of how the shade brush works and the process of using it to make real pencil-like drawings. There is a lot more than meets the eye, and mastering the shade brush requires some practice. The shade brush tool of the Paintology app is very powerful and versatile. Like all tools, one needs to master this brush in order to make the good pencil drawings that we are all aiming for. In this drawing we will draw a nose which is part of the portrait drawing that we will finally do. The actual photo image of the nose is shown above and you use the lower part of the drawing canvas to make your drawing. At first glance, it does not look that difficult but as you get into the drawing, you will see that the subtle shades around the nose are many. You will see many variations of the tones, which makes this drawing fairly challenging to do. If you are a beginner, don't get flustered if you are not able to make any progress. With continued patience and practice, you will get a good understanding of how the shade brush works. I used a Samsung Note 10 Plus phone with its stylus to do this drawing. I would suggest you use a tablet for this drawing but you can use a phone too, but make sure to use a cheap stylus to work on this drawing. This will provide you with better placement and accuracy of putting down the shades in the respective areas. Although I am fairly confident in using the shape brush, I found this nose drawing fairly challenging to get it to the level that I am used to. The outline of the nose has been provided for you as the basis for your drawing. I usually start with the darkest tones, and then work towards adding the mid-tones, and then the lighter tones. After one pass of the whole drawing, you will notice how I focus on the areas that need touching and continue to build up the drawing. Most artists will adopt this technique of building up their drawing and painting and continuously improving it. These are fundamental skills applied in traditional mediums but apply equally well to the digital medium. If you study the image above, you will see the darker tones within the nostrils, and also towards the right side of the nose. You can assume that the light is shining from the left side looking at the drawing. On the first pass, after the dark tones have been applied, you want to apply the general tones in the rest of the drawing. I make use of the color picker and set a larger brush to lay down all the tones. Don't worry about getting it right the first time as we are going to go over it again, and continue improving this drawing. You will see that I apply the same method of the previous drawings of the sphere and the cone. I continue to build up the tones by looking at small regions of the drawing and trying to get this right. You will see that I continuously vary the brush size and select the proper tones from the gray scale below. As you continue to draw, you will see yourself automatically picking out the tones and applying it to your drawing. You will see the details of the drawing such as the edges of the nose. They require more attention, and you need to zoom in to work on these regions. Mastering shading using these techniques is one of the fundamental drawing techniques learnt in art. Once you have got a good handle, you can use it effectively for many types of drawings such as portraits, landscapes, wildlife, flowers, and any type of drawing that interests you. Try to repeat the exercise and compare each time and see where you could improve. Make sure you are paying attention to the properties of how the shade brush works with different sizes, tones and also how it changes with another tone beneath it. You will eventually get to the level that is required to make good realistic pencil drawings. If you master the skills shown here, you will be able to make impressive drawings to amaze your friends and family. Who knows, maybe it will also spark an interest in taking up art as a career. In the next exercise, we will draw the lips. Hope to see you again soon. Paintology pencil drawing, close to the real thing.